Today, there are people living on streets in every country, from the richest to the poorest. This circumstance that discomforts consciences is an indication of unfair income distribution suffered across our earth. Hundreds of millions of people are living in a way deprived of basic needs such as food and sheltering. Eighty percent of the world resources are consumed by seventeen percent of the world population. Approximately 5 billion people are obligated to make do with the remaining 20%. Total assets of the richest 100 people are equal to total assets of half of the world population. Consequently, nearly 1 billion people sleep hungry. The bright promises of capitalism and communism might have seemed credible at first sight, but they definitely failed in ensuring social justice and equality. Indeed, this was a natural consequence of materialist philosophy, which maintains that life began by chance. According to this ideology, the purpose of life is just eating, drinking, and consuming. As required by the permanent struggle for survival in nature, the strong ones are supposed to oppress the weak. Social justice is not possible in the communities consisting of individuals who think along the lines of this ideology. The source of social justice is the lifestyle defined in the Quran. Social justice and equality are experienced perfectly in a community that acts in accordance with the morality of the Quran. But what is meant here is the true Islam and morality of the Quran. It is not non-Quranic beliefs superstitions, or radical ideologies. There is no place in the Quran for a loveless, bigoted model. Savage capitalism is criticized in the Quran. God has forbidden the accumulation of world's wealth in the hands of a very small segment of the society, with a verse so that it does not become something which merely revolves between the rich among you. Surat al-Hashir 7. The Quran advises to give away, to spend, in God's way without detailed calculation. The measure of giving away is whatever is surplus to your needs, as stated in the Quran, Surat al-Baqarah 219. This model of solidarity is the key of a rich economy and a society of welfare. Solidarity and sharing are encouraged on all occasions with various verses in the Quran. Furthermore, those who shall be helped are not just limited to Muslims. The social justice in the Quran also covers Christians, Jews, and idolaters. Therefore, there won't be any poverty, hunger, or economic collapse in a community in which Islamic moral values prevail.